It's my feel-good breakfast show. A very good morning and welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show on this Tuesday morning. Now, this morning we're talking about a particular scam that started up on WhatsApp for those of you out there who prefer to use it as a means of communication. And we're chatting to Liron Segev from the techieguy.com. He's all the way in Johannesburg, so he's joining us on the line this morning. Liron, good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? Very, very well, thank you. Thank you for taking the call. So tell us a little bit more about this new scam that's going on on WhatsApp. Okay, so these scams are particularly getting nastier and nastier, unfortunately. Um, what's happening is that the scam is obviously targeting popular applications mm -hmm. and WhatsApp being a very popular one of them. Mm -hmm. And effectively you'll get an SMS saying there's an add-on update to WhatsApp yes. with a link to click on. Now, what typically would happen is that you know, normally we would ignore these kind of messages. However, what the scammers are counting on is that you're too busy, you're in the middle of doing something else, you click on that link because it's WhatsApp and you want the latest update, the latest version. Yeah. You tap on that link and it takes you to a website. And the website is a big green button that says continue. You click on continue and I'm thinking you're going to get the latest update. Yeah. What in fact happens, when you click on that continue, you're effectively opting in to a service that charges you seven rand per day. And it's got nothing to do with WhatsApp whatsoever. Wow. Seven hundred. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do, what do users need to do then to avoid these kinds of scams, or this one in particular, let's start there? Okay, so because this one is so simple in nature, I mean, you don't have to go to an EFT, you don't have to do, um, you know, give out your credit card details, because all of those kind of will make us think twice why we're we really doing this. Mm -hmm. So they're counting on the fact that it's simple and we're busy and we're not concentrating and we're clicking on, on those links. Yeah. So the golden rule is when it comes to applications, never ever update them through an SMS, through a link in an email, Always go to the original application store, being the Apple store, being the um, Android, the Blackberry World, the um, Google Play, and download and update everything from there because yeah. it's official, it's from the manufacturer or from the developer rather, and it will always be the right version. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Liron. I think, wow, very, very useful information. We really do appreciate it. That's Liron Segev from the techieguy.com giving us more information on this new scam that is on WhatsApp. So, as he said, be careful. If you do get that SMS, don't click on it. Rather, use all of you, uh, your iStores, of course, your Android Play Store to update the uh, apps that you're using on your phone. Thank you very much, Liron. All right. So, as, as I said, yes, no matter what phone you use, you're using, be careful on how you make those updates happen. But right now, let's keep you updated on the early morning headlines, and Graham has those for you.